Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 28th to November 3rd, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Gemini, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, so a card already came out here for you, Gemini, the Two of Swords. I'm going to take it. Here we go. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Gemini in regards to love for this week, please. Gemini, Gemini. So we have here also the Eight of Swords. We also have the Three of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands with the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Six of Wands to the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. so gemini i feel like this person um because i'm seeing your person's energy here i feel like your person has been yeah waiting for you mm. this person has been waiting for you to seek them out to reach out to them to communicate with them to take action in their direction They've been patiently waiting for you. Hoping that you'll show up for them. Hmm. But with the Five of Pentacles, there is an energy of this person feeling tired of waiting to receive um, communication from you there's an there's an energy of this person feeling defeated feeling like okay gemini is definitely not going to chase me or look for me or reach out to me um it's been too long it's been too much time or, or i mean you know too much time has passed already and you know i haven't heard from gemini i haven't seen gemini and i can't keep waiting I can't keep waiting. I need to do something. I need to be the one to take action towards Gemini and I need to be the one to break the silence with Gemini. There's an energy of them. There's an energy here of them feeling disappointed that um, you never took it upon yourself to, to seek them out. Hmm. All right. I do want to clarify this energy. Six of Wands. I do feel like this is your energy, Gemini. Six of Wands to the Seven of Swords and the Six of... Sorry, Seven of Pentacles. So I will look into that. But let me look at this first. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Swords to the Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands, please. Um, showing up in Gemini's energy here. All right, so we do have the two of pentacles with the five of wands. Okay. And also the five of cups. Okay. Six of cups at the bottom of the deck with the seven of swords as well as the, um, the emperor. Okay. Is this person like um, cocky? I, I, I don't know why I'm getting like, um, I'm getting a cocky vibe from this person. Yeah, like cocky, arrogant. 
uh, prideful type of vibe from them. feel like this person puts themselves up on a pedestal. They themselves put themselves up on a pedestal. But I feel like you are the one who humbles them. Yeah. So it kind of looks like this person is used to getting their way. And the fact that they haven't been able to get their way with you, Gemini, I feel like it's very humbling for them yeah very very humbling i i feel like this person is used to being chased mm -hmm. yeah i feel like they're used to being chased but not with you with you um I feel like this person is looking at you like you have 10 heads, like you're this very rare and different specimen of a human and they don't understand you. They don't understand why nothing in their bag of tricks is working with you because I feel like this person has used um, all of their tricks they've emptied out their bag of tricks is what i'm getting and i feel like nothing works works on you so they're looking at you as they're looking at you like you're an alien or like you're like a rare breed of human that they've never met before <laughs> okay <laughs> I feel like this person is a little bit fascinated by you. <laughs> I do. I feel like they're a little bit fascinated by you. It's like they're upset with you, but they're also fascinated by you. Mm. Yeah, because they are also upset, you know, they're upset that um, they can't get their way with you or they haven't been able to get their way with you. That, that doesn't make them happy at all. But it's like at the same time, they can't help but feel very intrigued by you and fascinated by you. You know? <laughs> okay. Um, so with the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups... You know, it does look like there was some sort of breakup or separation between the two of you. This could also represent a fight or an argument that happened between the two of you. Um, and with the two of pentacles, there's an energy of this person feeling like, um, should I break the ice with Gemini or should I not break the ice? Because it kind of looks like right now there's a lot of tension here. They feel a lot of tension between the two of you. So they're in this energy of, should I do something about it or should I not do something about it? Um, I feel like their ego doesn't want to do anything about it. Their ego wants you to chase them. But at the same time, they do want you. They do, they do very much still want you. So the fact that you're not taking action in their direction, I feel like doesn't make them happy because they don't want to lose you. So they're kind of in a tough spot here. Because it kind of looks like they would need to surrender their ego um, if, if, if indeed they don't want to lose you. Um, they're going to have no choice but to, but to swallow their ego. And, you know, reach out to you.
But again, that's something that they don't want to do. They don't want to swallow their ego and they don't want to lose you. So they're kind of in this tough predicament here. They feel stuck between a rock and a, and a wall. It's like they have two choices here and they don't like either, either one of them. So they have to choose which one is worse. Yeah, which one is worse? Because they don't like neither one of them. So which one would be worse? I do see this person thinking um, to themselves that losing you would be the worst option. Would be would be the worst one out of out of both options. They are teeter-tottering a lot, though. I do see this person like, like a seesaw, you know, teeter-tottering, going back and forth. Um, they are struggling to make up their mind, but I do feel like this person is leaning more towards it would be worse for me to lose Gemini. They're, they're leaning more towards that, that direction, towards that option. Or, you know, towards that scenario. Okay, uh, what, are you, what are you doing, Gemini? I feel like I don't see you. I don't feel like I see, although this looks like you a little bit. Let me clarify here. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please, with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Wands. Okay. So, well, we have the Devil showing up here. We also have, well, 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 the Temperance card. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, Gemini. So it just kind of looks like you're in your zone. Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're in your zone. You're in your lane. You're staying in your lane, being very focused on yourself and focused on your work, your career, your goals. Um, I don't see you letting this situation bother you too much. I see you being very... Um, independent yeah standing strong in your independence is what i'm mainly seeing coming from you all right gemini i'm going to stop the reading here and i'm going to continue in the extended in the extended reading i will be taking a deeper look at your person i'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you what are their true and real intentions with you what actions will they take towards you moving forward and what will the outcome overall outcome be for this relationship if you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.